Many asylum seekers are from Venezuela. The country has struggled with an economic crisis that has caused severe food and medicine shortages, widespread unemployment, and violent crime. Mills Hayes is along the border this week and spoke to a mother of four about why she made the journey to America. And Mills, I understand deportations are now resuming. Hey, Tia, yeah, that's right. For the first time in four years, the U.S. has sent a flight of migrants who had crossed into the U.S. They sent them back to uh, Venezuela for crossing into the U.S. illegally. This is the first time we've seen this in the past four years. And what really happened there was because uh, the Venezuelan government they agreed to having a more democratic election come 2024. And so the U.S. eased some of their economic sanctions against Venezuela. And in return, Venezuela agreed uh, to get those migrants back. Now, uh, ICE says that they will continue to uh, fly out migrants at least once a week back to Venezuela who have crossed here illegally. Now, I've spoken to uh, quite a lot of Venezuelan migrants here in El Paso this past week. And even though we have seen a slight decline in the amount of crossings here in the El Paso sector. There are still hundreds of migrants that are utilizing city resources, especially those buses. I spoke with uh, some migrants that were headed to Denver and Chicago, and I spoke with that one mom who had a really uh, interesting story. She had come all the way from Venezuela to the U.S. It took her two months, and she was with all four of her children, one of her youngest child, just four years old and whenever I spoke with them they were outside of a shelter in downtown El Paso. Uh, it took them months to get here. They had to cross through multiple countries just to get to the U.S. and the way it's working right now is that uh, by the Biden administration has said that migrants who enter the, the U.S. before July of this year can uh, request to be under temporary protective status but that would not apply for Venezuelan migrants who have come to the U.S after July. So many of those people that I spoke with this week, they would not apply for temporary protective status, but they can their only hope right now is to still be able to claim uh, asylum. And the reason they would be able to do that from immigration lawyers that I've spoken with, they tell me that they are able to claim uh, asylum uh, for economic reasons when the government is in charge of many of the economic opportunities in the country like Venezuela. Tia? Okay, Mills Hayes reporting for us this afternoon. We appreciate it. Our Chicago delegation, meantime, also in Texas this week today, they are visiting a humanitarian respite center, migrant shelter down in McAllen. And among the group is Alderman William Hall, and he shared this video on Instagram showing a barbed wire security base camp. The delegation was able to go into the camp where asylum seekers are processed. Traveling with Hall are older people Raymond Lopez, Rosana Rodriguez Sanchez, and Lamont Robinson.